A talk in health now. Economic impact occasioned by COVID-19 pandemic requires meaningful contribution of individuals and corporate bodies to complement the government's effort at reducing the poverty rate. This was re-echoed during an empowerment program organized by a non-governmental organization, Sustainable Impact Aid, through its Emergency Response Intervention Project in Oshubo, Oshun State Capital. No fewer than 400 vulnerable persons benefited in the empowerment, which include business grant of 20,000 naira each to petty traders, cash benefit of 10,000 naira as palliatives for the aged. Others include walking aids to persons with disabilities, vocational equipment to beneficiaries to either start up or augment their businesses. The Sustainable Impact Aid said the gesture is to complement government's efforts at reducing social economic challenges occasioned by the COVID-19 pandemic. You can only create wealth if you, it's a thing of the mind, yeah? And then there's been, um, there's been a platform for them now. And the platform is, they've given out financial aids, we've given out equipment for them to learn, to grow their, the works they've learned. I want to encourage them not to sell the machines, to use it to create wealth, make the savings from it, and eventually grow a proper business from it. Among the beneficiaries, there are also people with disabilities that are formally applied to, uh, to benefit from the program. So we have those people, uh, people with disabilities among the beneficiaries of our, of our palliatives, uh, business grants, and the vocational equipment. Oshun State Commissioner for Women and Children Affairs was represented by a director in the ministry, Olua Toyin Oyetola, lauded the organization for the gesture, which he says has the capacity to complement government's determination to keep poverty at bay. The beneficiaries promised to use the items received for the betterment of the social and economic status. Government alone cannot do it. Government, government has a lot of things to, to do. So this, what they are doing is that they are complementing the efforts of the government. This is the period of a COVID-19 pandemic. It's, it's, you know, affects everybody globally, it's most especially we people with disability. We are highly affected. The beneficiaries include both the young and old, including people with special needs who were drawn from the three senatorial districts in the state. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.